Hey there. Well, I finally figured out a way to do the visor. Uh, you get a piece of um, plexiglass and Lexan, or sign. Uh, here's the end result. If you can even see it in this light. Um, what I did is I took a, fish, took a fish bowl, and after I heat this stuff up, just press it on there real good. I took this from the site. One of the aviation guys was uh, messing around making a, a anti-collision light cover. So it inspired me um, using using a um, an, an iron for doing clothes. Didn't work out so well. It was too warped. So I went and spent some money and got this a little oven heater for just doing the stuff like this. Little, it goes about 300 degrees. I know the light's terrible in here. There we go. It's a better view. Uh, you set it for a timer. I picked this thing up at, once again, Hobby Lobby. And I got a pretty good deal. 40 bucks. So, like I said, it heats up to 300 degrees, which is what you need for the uh, plexiglass. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and just get it warmed up here. They're saying to preheat it to like 20 to, or for 20 minutes. Got it set at 300. Okay. So, you see the little elements start heating up in here. But I'm not going to show you all that. Now, what I've got right here is a piece of uh, fiberglass to keep the uh, plexiglass from sticking to it once it gets uh, to its pliable state. Okay, this stuff here, uh, I mean, this thing is the perfect size for the uh, helmet visor. I hardly had to do any cutting at all. And that's after I gripped the ends of it and shoved it down over the uh, fishbowl. Okay, so what I'm going to wind up doing, I'm not going to show you all this either right away. I want to take the uh, covering off the back side because we need uh, the plexiglass just as it is. Uh, completely clear. Yeah. I'm going to shove it in here like so after I take the backing off of it. You can see it's heating up there. We'll let it sit in here for about 20 minutes. So I'll add this clip to it and see in a few. Okay, I'll admit, I'm not one of those guys who gets it right the first or second time. Do not cook this stuff at 300 degrees for more than five minutes. Otherwise, you get this. It started uh, bubbling on me, and it was, by the time I caught it, it was too late. And this is uh, after about, like I said, 10 minutes of doing this stuff. It was enough to get the shape I needed and uh, perfect my prototype here. What I'm going to do right now is see how it's all kind of, you know, warp at the ends and everything. That's cool. Because the part I needed is actually inside this, so I just have to uh, use my template, which is right here. Nope, that's the bad one. Here's a good one right here. Now, this is why I, light's terrible, I'm sorry. This is why I cut out of the mask after I got it resin. So we just lay it on here like this. Now, let me get any light here so you can see it. Okay, from here, we already have the shape that we need, so we go ahead and take a Sharpie, outline it, grab the Dremel, and go ahead and make our cuts. At that point, we'll go ahead and stick it inside the mask and adhere it. I'm going to wait to do that until I get everything bonded and painted, though. This will be the last piece that goes in. Hope you learned from my mistake, but uh, his oven made it made it possible so if you got the money for it go get one it's awesome okay well you saw what happened to the uh, plexiglass maybe not so well in the garage but I brought it inside and um hey the form turns out great uh, if you can see this I'll tell you what the camera I know I'm not a great YouTuber I claim to be but anyway uh, the contour is great. I love it. I think it looks awesome, except for those ugly bubbles. Uh, there's a couple places here where it needs to be tweaked. You know, I'll get lighting one of these days. I swear I will. Um, these places here that you see can be those can be modified with a, uh, a clothes iron. I'd say on wool wouldn't get much harder than that. But just get the. Uh, get to conform there and then 
get some sort of a sealant that they use for auto glass. Uh, it's that urethane stuff. Black, just put on there like a little bead, and uh, it should keep it in there pretty well. Again, so don't cook it for longer than 10 minutes, 300 degrees. Uh, I would suggest five. This is for eighth inch plastic, or I'm sorry, eighth inch plexiglass. Quarter inch, I think it's going to be too heavy, and once you bend it, it might distort your image a little bit. Wouldn't be able to see too well. But I think this eighth inch right here would be great for uh, playing paintball, taking a couple of rocks in the face. Still be good. Anyhow, let me know what you think. I hope this video has been better than the last two I put up. But uh, let me know. Thanks.